Fourteen months ago, you went on the air and called the Tea Party the American Taliban. I did. What happened then? A lot. The second season of Aaron Sorkin's The Newsroom is premiering on July 14th. And if it's anything like the first season, the scathing commentary on the state of journalism today will be unrelenting and painful. Here are five reasons why the show is an insult to journalism. New media should be celebrated, not treated with contempt. The show vilifies new media as the anchor Will McAvoy is extremely reluctant to adapt to the times and is bitterly reverential about the good old days when you could only get three versions of the news. Journalists are not the intellectual elite. Will and his team think that he is God's greatest gift to mankind and that his viewpoint is beyond reproach and therefore doesn't offer contending views. Good journalists actually work hard and are committed to reporting. The Newsnight team doesn't see a need to go out and get stories. The reporters rely primarily on luck and pre-existing knowledge. There is always bias in the media. You just need to be upfront about it. Will claims to be a Republican, but his story choice indicates the opposite, included but not limited to repeatedly claiming that the Tea Party is taking over the world. Journalists do make mistakes, and they should take responsibility for them. Will actually does apologize, but only on behalf of the journalism industry of which he believes he has risen above. Maybe we should look to other fictional newscasters as role models. Take Anchorman's Ron Burgundy, for example. Burgundy goes out into the field and ends up getting the greatest story of the year the story of a panda giving birth. He doesn't just sit by and rely on chance to get the scoop, and he does not pretend to be anything other than the lovable imbecile that he is. I'm gonna do the thing that God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do. Have salon quality hair and read the news. For Reason TV, I'm Tracy Oppenheimer.